that in uh, some of the other fixtures across the associations. Millie McCarthy with a drive out to Dennis. She's normally a knockdown shooter, and there she is again from three. A panic timeout as yet, but uh, if that lead got too much more, you'd think that he may be keen to pull one. Edwards, nice move. Closes herself and scores the two single figures for the Hawks, they're under a little bit of pressure this time as well. Sadie tries to create space, doesn't do too badly. Turns around with the right hand and is able to score. And there we go. They close out the quarter with what was their second field goal of the quarter. The toughest pass in basketball, Brett Costello, the pass into the post over the defence and Megan Mackay now it at that time. That's the first three-pointer, that's the one they've been waiting for. That was a good use of space there from uh, Matty Dennis to score two points. And the Cougars are away once again. Nice drive and floater. Lovely move then. The lady of the moment in the first half. That time she gets caught on the baseline. Edwards. Probably not her usual shot, I imagine. Six points now for Edwards. Very nice pick and roll action there. Dennis to Megan McKay for two points. Critter Burden, who's outside of her usual range. McCarthy didn't enjoy that right hand aspect quite as much, but Ring Kima. Is assessed just for two points. The referee signals on that one. The energy level is up, and I imagine that on ball pressure has been uh, requested by Coach Black at that half time chat. Well, it was very flat from McKay, but it, uh, it worked. Made it work, made it work. Nifty move there. Burden finds a little bit of space going in. She's stepping through. It's a kind bounce, and she'll head to the line for one more. And that's uh, resulted in this big lead for them. Tharp with nowhere much to go. Passes into trouble, to be fair. The Hawks probably fortunate there. Ring Kima, though. They've given her a two again. Oh, there we go. Inside to another one of the youngsters. Jenna Teasdale there at 18 years of age. Flips up the runner as time expires here at Wally Hagen. And that'll be the final score, 74 to 45.